crazy. It's crazy. Wait, wait, wait okay. for it, wait for it. Yeah. And these are brand new uh, 40s. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot we dive men in here. Between a Duramax, L5P, and these 5th gen Cummins, what do you like more? Our goal is to take the LOI today. It hasn't been driven since the show a couple weeks ago. Frankly, on the day of the show, the batteries were dead. We had to charge it up a little bit. My fiance did drive to the show and drove around for a little bit. I'm not sure if that was good enough. So we're about to find out if charge the LOI or take the black truck again. I really want to be driving the LOI because it's been a while. Okay, it unlocked. So. Let's see if it cranks up. And it's probably low on fuel too. All right, glow plugs. Okay. One of the cool things about tuning the truck and being able to get retunes and revision tunes and stuff like that is my LOI has a four inch exhaust, the previous tune. I don't know which tune it had. Like when I bought this truck, it was already tuned once i did the sdt tuning it really made the truck louder in terms of it having like a throaty or rumble however i am going to request a revision and make like tune one i never leave it on tune one right so i think we might change tune one to where it's it closes the veins a little bit because I wanted to idle like a jet. We'll do that. If that's something you guys want to see, leave a comment below. I will request a revision from Same Day Tuning and see if they can make my Tune 1 into something that closes the veins. So that way when I'm at idle, it just sounds like a jet. Mondo's comments has that feature right now and that's all he's running it on and it sounds ridiculous. But with 64 millimeter Ryan's diesel services turbo that I have, It already sounds ridiculous. Imagine if it was just whistling at idle. That's crazy. How far are you trying to go? Uh, I'm going right in the middle, right there. Yeah, right over the main way. You might want to put some tongue weight to it. Huh? So you have to explain This is Tuan, the man, the myth, the legend. Got it all torn apart for us in one day. Yeah. So that's. Not even a day. Would you text me this morning? Like, yeah, we'll get up to you this afternoon. Yeah. So. Nice. He's done marks, so we we're like, all right, sure. Tuan can do it. Just didn't know he could do it that quick. <laughs> Normally he can, but he knows we're on a time crunch. So. So by the way, we uh, we're using Stan's wife's Jeep as a tow pick today to come here and pick it up, and then. It'll be up to me tomorrow to drop this off at Jimmy's with one of my tow pigs. If you guys are in Columbia, South Carolina, anywhere in Columbia, near Lexington, come check out First Auto and Repair. They do some really good work. They do some performance stuff. They do repairs. Um, he was just showing me a truck inside that got in a car accident, which uh, a semi drug a lifted Duramax two miles down the road, and he had to replace the whole front end and he was showing me everything he had to replace. It's pretty cool. They do really good stuff here. Now we gotta get it powder coated. Yeah. I feel like we're ahead of schedule now. We actually are. So um, so we actually might be able to finish with like two or three days because now we got wheels coming. They're shipping tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, the only issue with the wheels is that they're raw. So they're not gonna be polished. We're gonna have to polish that. That'd be good. It's more constant. We can put or you could powder coat it. Yeah, so I was gonna powder coat the faces. The only thing is Jimmy's got in just to do the faces. I wonder if Jimmy will let us try it. Powder coating and wiping it off. Your brother ever sell the silver 2020? Dang. Put all the batteries off. And sold it? Took everything off of it. Sold it for 75 grand. Oh, nice. We have made it back from Lexington, South Carolina from Twan Shop. So this is where the trailer is going to stay for the night. And uh, we still got to load up the leaf springs and uh, a few other components. Yeah. 
of lemonade. I wouldn't go too far, but I think that back wheel is what um, is the wheel that Matt wants to take off. So leaf springs, and then what else? And while I'm here, I could probably just pick up all the plastic pieces and take yeah. it to Briggs tomorrow. The leaf springs, um, powder coat is going to be the leaf springs, the U-bolts, uh, the Hobbs chase rack, and the inserts for it. Um, my brain is fried. Seema mm -hmm. Crunch is burning my brain out. I have very little thought process there. First week of Seema Crunch. And <laughs> we got two more weeks of this. Now, and, mind you that I also yeah. work a full-time job. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm working all day and coming over here and doing this. I'm stuff. actually getting some sleep. Yeah. Stan does it, and he's got a kid and a wife. Yeah, I got to spend family time, yeah. work time, and semen time. Mm -hmm. so. But I'm glad we got this done. Twan is the freaking man. He literally, like, it was dropped off to him yesterday um, afternoon, and then he texted me this morning. He's like, I'm going to get to it this afternoon. And I thought maybe I'll get a call tomorrow, like, hey, it's ready. Yeah. And he just, like, texted me, like, three or two, it was like 2 3, right? Yeah. Hey, it's done and ready. And I'm like, what? And no plans on going to. Yeah, exactly. But he took it apart real quick. Has all the rest of my parts. Gave us all the things that need to be powder coated, um, or we, if we want to powder coat, dust shields and a couple of the brackets, um, the harmonic balancer for the front, so that we can go ahead and get them all sprayed at the same time. As soon as they're done, and, and Jimmy Rivers is going to knock this thing out pretty quick because he knows like we're in this real bad time constraint. And Jimmy's really good about it too. Yeah, yeah, he's very fast and very thorough. They do good powder coat, nice, thick, clean, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, he usually does real good with the clear on top, so that it shines really well. Um, so it should look kind of good with this stuff too. This is all done pretty well. I think I'm a little bit biased when it comes to Jimmy's powder coat because he's been doing all of my truck. Do you know what powder that is? Uh, that's Illusion Cherry. Illusion Cherry? Yeah, okay. and then the, the silver stuff is like, I can't remember, he told me it's two different ones, because you know a lot of the times the powder coat is always two layers. Yeah. So it's like sometimes it's a silver layer. I think Illusion Cherry does like a silver layer, and then they do a red like top coat yep. that ends up giving you that reflective red. Um, the silver is probably something similar, right. where it's like a silver undercoat, and then there's something on top of it that gives it that kind of grayish tint. but. There's, oh, the overlays too, but the overlays we'll do later on this week. That might go to him because he'll he'll spray those like in a day. So here's Devin, freshly got lifted with the four and a half inch BDS. All right, Devin, what you thinking? Can you see it? It's hard, not to, it's hard to miss. It's hard to miss, huh? <laughs> What's up, man? What you think? What's going on, boss? What's up, buddy? Dude, that is crazy. It's crazy. You trade me? That's crazy. <laughs> this is the practical. This is the turn wow. heads everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. That's that, that I feel is more like a supervisor. Sleeper. Oh, it is a sleeper. Oh yeah, sleeper. No, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But this is like what you pull up to a job site and tell people what to do. <laughs> so by the way, this truck, I'm telling you, this this sits a little taller, maybe about the same. This lift kit, four and a half inch BDS. And how do I know this? It's my old lift kit. My 2011 Denali came with four and a half inch BDS. It actually, it might be a six and a half. I'm not too sure. I'm sorry. It might be a six and a half. Okay, it's a four and a half. Yeah, it's a four to six. That's how BDS do their lift kit. You guys know I went with a seven to nine inch kit. If you guys want to see the full build, I'll put the link up here. It was sitting in my garage. Devin came over one day and was like, hey, what's that lift kit doing over there? And you want to sell it? This was what, earlier this year. So that was like the pandemic in full swing. So BDS was like four or five months out on back order. You got the kit really quick and all you needed to do was buy all new hardware and a few other components. Came out on top, four and a half inch BDS kit, kryptonite, upper control arms, Fox 2.0 shocks all the way around. He is keeping those wheels and tires for now, but I think he's gonna do aftermarket wheels and bigger tires. But yeah, this thing looks really good. This is a truck that has the Stealth 64 millimeter turbo with all the HSP piping. Can I pop the hood? Yeah. Wait, wait, okay. wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. I think that's the exact same piping color as my yeah. LOI. I think so. That's what I want to do. That's yeah. the color all of my stuff, my suspension and stuff. So here's the whole HSP piping under the hood. If you guys want to go get something from HSP, use the promo code right here 
and then all you have to do is use that at checkout and you get 5% off on HSP piping. Beautiful truck, sleeper. And it's got CP3 conversion on this LML, so it's a very reliable LML Duramax. It's studded and everything. It's been studded and, and he pulls campers with it, so it's gotta be reliable. Let's go look at Stan's truck, yeah. since you're here. I forgot we said Look at this. You're right, 40s are really small. Those, those, yeah, those are 40s. Wow. Working on this and seeing this truck like every day, I'm getting so numb to lifted trucks. Yeah. <laughs> like this just seems normal to me. Like I expect every truck to be this size now. Shoot. And then I go look at my truck, I feel like it's on a leveling kit. <laughs> so I just got the tracking number for the 28th. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's been shipped out. officially been shipped. Yeah, they should be on the truck today or tomorrow. Heck yeah. That's gonna be awesome. So we'll have some rims here, probably for the weekend. Hmm? They're on a semi truck, they're uh, freight. So you'll have to come to my job and pick them up because I'll unload them over there and have them shipped to the. Okay. We'll pull them off the forklift. Then we'll have to figure out how the hell we're gonna polish those things out. Maybe. Bro, I don't know if we can. You don't think we can? I guess we could try. We could try. Dude, a lot of people get confused that you're gonna be rocking your 22s and 40s for the show. No. That, that setup is from his last truck and we literally just put it on here just so he could drive it here because he couldn't with the stock wheels and tires so no these 40s with the 22 inch hostels are not for the show and it is not for this truck it is just it was just so that way he could drive it here but these are yeah 42 these are it all right but look at the size difference between 42s and 40s and he does have new wheels actually on the way. They're 28 by 16s. So it's actually gonna fit this truck. It's gonna look pretty good. I feel like it's gonna give off the same appearance as like something with a, like a 10 inch lift with a good size wheel and tire. So like pretty much like my truck ratio. Right, it'll look like that just mm -hmm. in a larger version of this. Yep, for the rock lights. Those are my premium and premium plus. Look at that. Oh wow. Those are just, that's just three rock that's lights. Just three of them. Total going on the truck is 40. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's just three out of 40. Plus the quad rows. Yep. Damn, Where look at that size go? difference. Dude, 40s to 42s wow. is That's pretty difference. significant. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And the and these are brand new uh, 40s. Yeah, these these are still relatively new. I mean, the only thing they've just lost the nubs on them, but that's it. These right. are just have nubs. All right, we'll see. Originally, he was going to do 44 boggers, but felt like 42 Furies would be more practical. Yeah, because I like to drive my trucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I say probably drive a lot better. Yeah, I mean. That'd be annoying. Yeah, you yeah. spent all that money to build a truck. You want to drive it. I still want to be able to be like just, so I like it to be seen, but not heard kind of deal. Because right now, it doesn't really sound like it. <laughs> It's the Prius of diesel. I mean, we'll hear you. We'll hear you coming with the Furies. No. I didn't realize how loud my Furies were. Really? Until I went to go see my nephew swim. Yeah. And my friends and my sister came out and they were like, yeah, we heard you down the street. So I'll give you this. And I, and I don't have any experience with the, with the Furies, so we'll find out. But I'll do it. We'll do a comparison because I have some videos of my truck driving the black truck mm -hmm. on the Toyos. Toyos were actually surprisingly quiet. Dude, Matt's 40s is really quiet. Yeah, and I was surprised for an MT, they're usually mm -hmm. that warm still. Yeah. When they wear down, get real low to tread, they'll start making that noise. That's yeah. when you know, with those in those Toyos, that's when you know they need so to be switched. So my rears back there are, are slicks, because I did a couple of like burnouts. Yeah. But I didn't see that video, I'm putting on there. People say, oh, it doesn't do, the truck doesn't do anything. Yeah, it does. My trucks do stuff, I build them to do stuff. So. And actually, that's why we have I a don't. discussion. <laughs> well, Mine's tuned and deleted, right? but I still don't do it. Because we're talking about Bill Trans. The yeah. first thing I want is a Bill Trans. Bill Trans gears, and then we'll look under the hood and figure out how much power we can put under it. So that next year, whenever we're yeah. complaining about my axle, maybe we'll put a straight axle on it. I'm going to run a thousand horsepower out of this thing. Ooh. Awesome. Hell yeah. You know? Dude, that'd be, be insane. Just burn 42s. Just yeah. Put 44 bars and just do burnouts all day long. Yeah. Heck yeah. Could you, could you guys imagine this with like bigger turbo and bigger injectors i feel like bigger pump i don't know if i want to do just bigger turbo but i feel like compound setup compound setup oh my god yes or if you want to get oh triple you know 
I, I have a little bit of envy of Gabe with his triple turbo. Fuel. Oh yeah. See, Holden had a twin turbo yeah. or the compound setup, and for me, it's like the second turbo muffles out the first one. Yeah. So I don't like that sound. I like the sound of a single, yeah. like a sixty-eight mil or something. Yeah. Just like what one big. No, don't get me wrong. I love that jet engine sound. Yeah. Dude, all day when I drove your LOI for that couple of days. <laughs> Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I literally like rolled all the windows down and drive through the neighborhood. True. Just listen to it, man. I yeah. loved it. It's like music to my ears. Oh, yeah. I love but it. But from a right. power stance, like if you want something that big, that's all with all of the power you can possibly Yep, compounds. Have. Yeah. Yeah, compound setups. But we'll see. Hey, we'll maybe see I'll do. Rolls. Hey, if you do compounds, I'll do compounds on the L5P. Actually, no, I don't really want to do compounds. Oh, I'll, saying, I'll, I'll, I like the single. On freaking tape. Yeah, I, I like That's the single. Contract, right? yeah. yeah, I like the single <laughs> single I'll turbo sound. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to do it. I really don't. Maybe if I bought another L5P, then I'll do a compound and we'll do like more performance on that one. But for like my daily, I just really like the sound of the single. And I'm about to do a bigger turbo on the L5P as well. So, I mean, I, so the plan is right next year. Um, if things i'm waiting to see what the new the newest body style of denali's not a body stock so i don't think they're changing the body so much but the interior they're supposed to change the interior in 23 right did you see the 23 high country yes. they released it's got auto pilot mm -hmm. dude that thing is sweet wow, the whole interior looks good it, they look more like the the tahos and stuff inside where they yeah. kind of cleaned them up and made them look more modern if i can talk my wife into it very sweetly <laughs> 3500 2023 3500 yeah so if that's the case then i might keep this like it is maybe we'll just do a straight axle conversion um by that time we'll have the shop maybe we'll have plasma table and something right. go ahead and fab up a nice cradle for it because i had one built up in cad mm -hmm. um, for a while there's this been sitting there but it's for the black truck so it just makes modifications to manage this one do a straight axle four link setup for this and then um by then we'll have like gears and stuff are be available do a 3500 yeah that'd be cool compounds. yeah the real toe pig yeah the real toe Dude, pig a custom grill for that thing the, the real toe pig and matt says the toe pig and yours is the, the, the real, real toe, toe pig, pig. <laughs> yeah i'll get him to cut me a grill like matt's yeah this is like the real toe pig just have like a big fat you have to get a white one with blue color scheme too okay with a couple bullet holes <laughs> snap on and put on like a one. Yeah, buy the Pittsburgh one and then put snap on handle on it. <laughs> Looky here, Mondo finally got some amp steps. About time. Well, it's, it's also because they couldn't figure out how to. Basically, the first gen, when they first came out with these amp steps, 19 to 20 steps would not work on the 2021 because, like, what was it doing? It just wouldn't communicate it wouldn't with the communicate truck. very well. Yeah, it wouldn't drop down. It was just having a bunch of issues. We figured out why. So this is the OBD2 port or plug that goes into the OBD2 port. Yeah. This is your signal lead. This right here, which taps into, apparently these trucks have a bypass module right here, which we found out last week by doing. <clears throat> but anyway, well. Y'all were gagging? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's what we were doing. Mexican so, style. yeah, the bypass module's up here, which allows, I guess, bypassing. I guess all the safety stuff on these trucks. I don't think I want one then. So, I live on the edge. Two weeks ago, <laughs> we died as a unit. <laughs> <laughs> died, died like men here. <laughs> hey, did Mondo tell you that? He got, we, were, we were helping Stan move the other day when Mondo got in the truck. He went to grab the seat belt and click it in, but I had the silent service. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot we died as men in here. Oh, we died as a unit. Mondo was tripping that day. I think he was high. <laughs> I put the little, uh, Asher has a little fedora. I put it on Mondo's head and he started dancing like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. This is a bypass module. It's gonna allow the uh, communication with the amp steps and the computer of the truck. Oh, now I got exactly. a wires reversed. I'll mm -hmm. put them black, black oh, strut okay. now. Probably just need to reset, maybe. Zoop. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Open Sesame. Oh, no. It's not sesame. 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 It's open sesame. I say sesame. Oh, I said sesame. Open sesame. Same here. Uh, I like I sesame, sesame seeds. Open sesame. Sesame. Open sesame seed. Pull the fuse and yeah. start again. When in doubt, pull it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, at least it went up, so that's a good sign. Okay, maybe I don't want to go. Yeah, he don't. Get you a Duramax. Oh, speaking of um, taking door panels off, I do have to take my front door panels off. You what? Front, take the front door panels off. You have to, or you? Yep. I bought. He bought more stuff. Um. So when you open the door, a projector. Oh, bougie. Oh, but, I want one. With my logo. I want one. You bought one with your I logo? Custom one. 150 for two. I want them. What? What? If it, since it went up, the motor's on right. Yeah. So. Let me try the other side. Perhaps this side's better. Nope. Buy a Ram, they said. Ram steps won't even work on a Ram. Wait, did you plug in to the uh, bypass? So I'm guessing this is what they were yeah, having issues um, with originally. Yeah, drilling. Let's see, Alex to the fix. To the rescue. What do you do? My um, bar wasn't long enough. Oh. Flow is artwork proof rear view, so that's how it's gonna look on the ground. Bypass module. Wrong bypass module? Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Look at that. Completely <laughs> flush. Uh, GM owner. Huh? Mine's flush. Yeah. Ish. Supposedly, if you get the 1500 for the 2500s, they're flush. Not like this, though. Yeah, it's not like Rams. Like GM, you can still see like probably half the steps. It ain't like Ford's, though. You couldn't see that thing at uh -oh. all. Like Ricky's? I didn't even think Ricky had any on it. She didn't believe Ricky. I didn't know. I was like, open the door. Nice. Finally, you don't have to jump in here anymore. Thank God. I done messed my back up. Did you get him though? Did I get you? Our neighbors are gonna kill us. It's a scientific fact that loud, single burst of noise don't wake you. It's the continuous noise. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, if you ever like stumbling through a house at night, you knock something over. What about waking someone up? It's yeah. unlikely you will. No. <laughs> so I should do a rant. This is six inch, right? Yeah. My boy says an eight. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a ram with an eight. Just do a ten inch. They do ten. Yep. I'm gonna do a ram with a ten. Between a Duramax L5P and these fifth gen Cummins, what do you like more? The uh, Duramax the L5P. I just love the solid front axle. No, you don't. No. I love the look of it. I like the look it of it. It looks good, but it'll be the uh, independent. Hmm. Like ride quality wise? Cause I'm used to luxury. Yeah. You see that Cadillac right there? 1500 rides like a boat. Yeah, he can't go to a work truck with solid axle. Although, Mondo's truck does ride pretty good. It does ride pretty soft. So if what you're watching, now? make me an offer. Ooh. We'll start the bid at $42,000. <laughs> I mean, you're not lightweight. Only when you're drinking. Right. <laughs> but I, I think your tolerance has gotten up. No? I only had like maybe two beers this whole weekend. Why? Because you were drunk the whole weekend? Or? No, I didn't get drunk at all. <laughs> I didn't get tipped. How many energy drinks? You know, energy drink makes you uh, drunk faster. Yeah, like, I mean, like Red Bull yeah. vodka. Do what? Uh, 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 uh. Do what? Can you screw it? Screw it. I did it. Well, good on the back. That didn't hit anywhere. Sounded like it was on the front. Yeah, it hit was on the front. That's how mine sounds. That's how mine sounds. Yeah. Raggedy. Raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> this man woke up and chose violence. That was on the front. Not definitely front. I'm telling y'all, it's hitting on the back. That's all right. It'll go down with time. Well, shall we uh, start the bid at? Forty-two thousand dollars. Make an offer. Send a DM. 
to the Southern Showstopper. It's got a 10 inch lift, cognate upper control arms, everything's powder coated, 24 by 14s, 36 inch Versa tires. I mean, this thing is lit. I mean, when I say lit, I mean lit. Door handles, cab lights, 1500. Well, yeah, the factory headlights, paint matched. Custom hooks, paint, painted grill, painted fender flares. Lots and lots of. Oh, wait, the best part. Third one. Boom. There you go. New system in the back. Yeah, new system in the back and. Four eights. And you have the uh, speakers in the bed of the truck speakers too. in the bed. I mean, the whole nine yards. This thing will be hard to get rid of. It will be, but for the right price. For the right price. Yeah. Money talks. It had to be like 65. 65 would probably do it. You think 65 would do it? Oh, 65, 65 would do it right now when I yeah. fucking walk home. Yeah. 65 would do it. <laughs> I would almost give him 65 just to watch him walk home. <laughs> I would do it. I would Jeez. do it. Somebody had to bring me 70 for my truck. At least 70. Right. Yeah, I'd do 65 and walk home. Whoever buys this truck, please buy it and we'll make Alex walk home and we'll film it. Bring the cash to Elite Innovations. <laughs> yeah, and we'll watch him walk home. I'm going to drive right behind him the whole time. I'll walk home doing just money dance. <laughs> He'll get robbed. Like $100 bills. Oh, yeah, and it's got next level doormats it's got too. The LEDs around socks, headers, catless Wi Fi. Okay. And then fully custom tuned um, at Vengeance LEDs Racing in Atlanta. So yeah, I mean it's got the whole nine yards. It's a really solid truck. Only got seventy thousand miles. Not too bad for a twenty seventeen. So we're kind of joking, but if you seriously want to buy this truck, make him an offer. Uh, if he does sell it, we're gonna do a hopefully a Duramax build. And you already know if he's going this crazy on the gas truck, you already know he's gonna go crazy on the Duramax with all the fa flashy stuff under the hood and. Yeah, so it'll be a cool build. So make them an offer if you want to buy it. Tell your rich daddies. There you go. Oil change gone wrong. I think this is where we're going to end the video. Yeah. This is the perfect time to end the video. Let's put it right here. Uh, hopefully we finish the oil change tonight and uh, hopefully we get the truck back on the roof, but that's going to be it. Cue the outro. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe. There you go. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>